Hello, let's draw a regular pentagon inscribed in a given circumference. The first thing we are going to do is to draw a vertical diameter which cuts our circumference at points A and P as can be seen here in the video. The second step is to draw a horizontal diameter perpendicular to our previous diameter. To do this in the video using the 45 degree set square with an attached protractor but you at home can work out the perpendicular bisector of the diameter AP or use your 45 and 60 degree set squares. Our new horizontal diameter will cut our circumference at two points which we will call Q and R. We will demonstrate that these two diameters are perpendicular by placing our perpendicular sy symbol as can be seen here So the next step, we are going to calculate the perpendicular bisector of the line segment OR. To do this, I remind you, we must draw two arcs with the same radiuses. These radiuses must be longer than half of the line segment, as shown here in the video. The centers of these two arcs are O and OR. These two arcs intersect at two points, and now we will join these two points and where it cuts the radius OR, this will be the midpoint M of the radius. So now, with our compass centered on M and radius MA, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our horizontal diameter QR. We will call this point S. So now we join point S to point A with a thicker line and this line segment SA will be the length L of one side of our pentagon that we want to draw. So the next step is with our compass we want to transport our length L onto our circumference five times starting at point A. So as you can see we scribe our first point. Now setting our compass on this point, we scribe our second point. Again following this process we set our compass on our third point and scribe our fourth. And again, setting our compass on point four, we scribe our next point. And finally, if we are doing everything with precision and accuracy, our final arc should cut exactly on point A, as can be seen here in the video. So the next step is to name the final four vertices of our pentagon B, C, D and E. And finally with a thicker line we will join our vertices A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E,
And finally, so now we have our regular pentagon inscribed in a given circumference, joining our last vertices E to A. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to our channel or click like if you have this video has helped you. Thank you.